Let's talk about artillery time of flight. That's how long it takes for a round after it leaves the barrel to impact the target. And it's longer than most people think. As an example, let's look at this fire mission here from a D-30. Get ready? Start the timer. In this example, we're looking at a D-30. That's a 122 millimeter howitzer in use by both Russia and Ukraine during this war. And for the example, we'll look at full charge. I have no idea what they actually shot. Time of flight information is found in something called a firing table. In the US, we don't exactly put that information out publicly unless it's a foreign firing table, in which case we might. So this is a 122 millimeter howitzer. It's a little bit older, but at the end of the day, when you're talking about how long a big dumb bullet has to travel through the sky to reach a target, the data is pretty close to what it is today. For our example fire mission, if they were trying to hit something 1,500 meters out, it would impact right now, 38 seconds after leaving the tube.